Good morning. Today I'm in the Brecon National Park in South Wales. Uh, more specifically, I'm in an area that's uh, referred to or known as the Waterfall Country. Uh, my plan today is to uh, visit a number of waterfalls. Uh, the area I'm in, um, there's four within easy walking distance. Um, I don't remember the name of the river and I probably won't be able to pronounce it properly anyway. That's what I'll do is I'll put the uh, name up on the screen somewhere. And also as I go round the waterfalls, I will put the names on the screen as I get to each one of those. All right, I'm gonna uh, make my way down, my way down to the first one. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to get some images today. As you can see, I've now made it down to the waterfall. Uh, sorry if you can't hear me so well, it is quite loud down here, and I've uh, forgotten to put my other mic on. Um, but if you can see behind me, there's uh, this first waterfall. I will say the uh, water levels are quite impressive, and uh, better than I've ever seen before. Um, I'm going to set up and uh, take some pictures, but we seem to have some army recruits coming down to uh, climb down here, so I'm going to see what I can get, see whether I can get them in the shot, or whether I can get them after the shot. Okay, I've come back up to the main track now, this is overlooking the waterfall. Um, I had attempted to get down by the side of the waterfall, but it's, it's a bit steep, it's very wet, it's very slippy, and quite frankly not safe, especially as I'm by myself at the moment. Um, and also, as I got down there, I don't think I was going to get as clean an image as I wanted to, because there's lots of trees down by the side of the river. So, so I've come back up to the track. Um, I think I found the best image I can, best composition I can from this side of the uh, river. Um, but there's still a lot of trees in the way, so what I'm trying to do, I'll bring you around, give you a rough idea. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm trying to use some of these trees. Some of these trees to actually uh, frame the image. I'm not sure how good it's going to come out in the end, um, but I'm giving it a go. Uh, as for camera setup, I'm actually using a 10 stop ND filter because uh, I do like a, a long exposure waterfall image. Um, and before I put the filter on, the meter was telling me that uh, I was going to need a shutter speed of about one sixth of a second because um, it's, I mean, it's not exactly bright out here, um, but it's not exactly really dull either. But as I've set the filter on, it's given me um, an ex a shutter speed or a shutter time for uh, 2 minutes 40 seconds, um, so hopefully that will give me uh, some nice smooth water and uh, to other seconds I'm on F11, uh, I've got no idea what my focal length is at the moment, um, actually saying that I've got, I wouldn't pull back as far as I can on that, so it's 24mm, uh, um, okay F11, shutter speed, one sixth of a second with that filter on, giving me 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, when I actually capture the image. So I'm going to catch that image now and uh, I'll say, let me know in the comments below if you think this image is any good. Um, I'll say, I won't really know until I get it back onto the computer and get to have a play around with it. Okay. I was just about to move on and I decided that I'd uh, just check out another possible composition. As uh, you go down the steps that lead to the top of this first waterfall, there's kind of a viewing area about a third of the way down and uh, it actually gives you quite a reasonable view of the waterfall uh, from a bit of an angle but, at, uh, but still above it but not as much above as the uh, trackway which is just up that way. Um, so I thought I'd have a quick look and this image is a lot better, there's a lot less trees in the way. Or, there are still quite a few tra trees in the image, but they um, give probably a better um, border to the waterfall. Um, so actually I, I think it would work better as, as a composition. Um, camera set up this time. 
I've not actually gone with a filter. I've took a few images without the filter, uh, but I've bracketed my images so that if uh, my highlights are too bright and my darks are too, shadows are too dark, I can blend the images in Lightroom or Photoshop and uh, get a, a decent image overall. Um, I've then also sat the camera up with a polarizer, which is um, quite nicely bring out all the greens that are still around, even at this time of year. So being uh, a bit sheltered down here, there's uh, quite a lot of moss on the trees and on the, on the ground, and there's still quite a bit of greenery around. Uh, so the polarizer will bring that out and also take out some of the glare in the waterfall. It also gives me the option of reducing my shutter speed and uh, smoothing out the water. As I said, I, I quite like the long exposure waterfall image. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a few more images and uh, then head on to the next waterfall. As you make your way to the other waterfalls, you get the opportunity to view the first waterfall from the opposite bank. Now, the only view you have is from upon high, and the height of the uh, drop from this side is something like 40 to 50 feet. And uh, as I'm not a big fan of heights, I uh, decided I'd quickly just set up the camera, set it recording, and uh, step away from the edge, as there was no way I was going to do a bit to camera while it stood there. Um, needless to say, I didn't spend much time here, I just captured a couple of images before I uh, moved on to the next waterfalls. After a uh, 20 minute or so, well perhaps 20, 25 minute walk, um, I've now started the descent down to the second and third waterfalls. Um, I'm sure if it was, we'd had a path that was uh, actually ran along the river, well, <laughs> you'd get along here a lot quicker. Unfortunately, you have to uh, travel. Uh, River from the first waterfall, a little bit to get across a bridge, and then you sort of head up the hill or up a hill, and then along, sort of roughly following the route of the river. It's not direct, um, so that's why it takes about 20 25 minutes to get here. It's uh, not exactly the most accessible of routes, um, so if you have difficulty walking, this is. Uh, not going to be the uh, the trip for you, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so I'm just heading down to the uh, next couple of waterfalls. Uh, as we get down, back down, along by the riverside, um, we actually come to the third of the falls first, and then have to uh, traverse up the river to get to the second set of falls. Uh, it's, if I remember rightly, it's not too bad. There's uh, quite a lot of wooden planking being put down. Um, I guess if you look here, you can see wooden planking. Um, so this is just on the way down to the, to the riverside. But uh, as you go up towards the second fall, there's quite a bit of this. And then towards the end, to get some of the better competition, you have to scrabble um, over some rocks along the riverside just to uh, to get those better 
better vi uh, images and com uh, views. Uh, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's not too too difficult. Like I say, it's actually quite a descent down to the riverbed. Um, not sure how far it is in, in meters or feet. See if I can find out and I'll uh, pop that on the screen. Um, but needless to say, as far as you've got to go down to the riverbed, you've uh, got to come back up. And uh, <coughs> that's the bit I don't look forward to. Um, but in my mind, I'm telling myself it's all going to be worth it. Right, I've made it down to waterfall number three now, and uh, this is quite impressive. We've, uh, I just point the camera around, you can uh, see the water river, start, river comes down the waterfalls and starts coming off into this gully that actually runs all the way along and cuts into the edge of the waterfall. As you see, as we come down here, and so the river runs along the top, it's also running down in that gully, runs all the way along. And as you can see, oh, I'm not cutting. You see, the runs all the way along here. And the little gully runs down here, comes into the side of the waterfall, and then the main bit of the river almost does a bit of a 90 degree turn to the left and comes over the side of the waterfall there's also a little bit that comes runs along the top of the waterfall and creates additional bit of falls a bit further along as you can see so hopefully you can still hear me it is a bit loud <laughs> there's a rather a large amount of water coming over these falls I'll say there's a lot more water than was the last couple of times I came to visit. So yeah, looks uh, pretty spectacular. And uh, I'll say in previous times I got some compositions. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, get one from here. I think it looks quite nice, but then also previously been able to get down into this bit of this area which is a bit lower down and then gives you a bit of an enemy a view across the falls. So I'm going to see if I can uh, get both of those images. Right now, I am one very stressed individual. I'm also quite annoyed uh, at myself. I've uh, I'm just taken some images down at the uh, third waterfall. Uh, plan was do third waterfall, go up to the second waterfall, and then head off to the fourth waterfall, back home. Uh, unfortunately, that is not the case. I would. Uh, Set up, well, I set my first composition uh, looking across the waterfalls. Uh, had taken a few images, um, got interrupted by some, I think, army cadets who decided to, uh, they were going to jump off <laughs> the side of the waterfall. Uh, so, yeah, got some footage of them and some not so clear pictures, uh, unfortunately. Um, but just after they'd all finished off and moved on. I was reviewing my images and uh, 
even though I've got a polarizer on. The, uh, the highlights in the water were, were blowing out. So I decided to uh, do a long exposure with my 10 stop filter. So I put the filter on, uh, check the camera. Well, before that, check the camera, see what the shutter speed was, put the filter on. And then uh, I needed to work out what uh, length of time I needed to have the uh, shutter open on. So I went to get my phone so I could use the Lee filter app and no phone. Not in my pocket, I know this. So I would have thought I, sh I should have noticed it wasn't there because it's, it's fairly, b this is the X um, XX Max. So it's quite big and quite snug in the pocket of these trousers. But no, I hadn't noticed it wasn't there. Check my bag, check my coats. No, not there at all. Uh, proceeded to then have a bit of a panic. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, nobody around to see that. Um, I've, uh, then I quickly put my kit away. Uh, obviously, uh, considering I've lost my phone, I made dead certain that I hadn't left any of my photo gear behind because that would really cheese me off. And then I'm, uh, I'm now hoofing it back to where I believe I left my phone, which was uh, right where I was doing my first images on the main path overlooking the first waterfall. Oh, which is well, good. Well, I guess soon I've got to come up from the uh, third waterfall. It's a bit of a climb. And then all the way back, we're talking about half an hour track in total. Um, well, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I would run, but I wouldn't get very far before I had to stop, and it'll probably take me longer because of having to recover. So, get as good as I can. In my mind's eye, I can see where I've left it. That's just ridiculous. <sighs> right, I'm pretty much back to where I am. And from just a little bit before I put this camera on, because I had to put it on before I got to it. My phone is still on the, on the, on the post I left it on. I can't bloody believe it. Either. <laughs> How relieved am I? Oh. That's just mental. Oh man. Oh. All right, in the pocket before I go any further. Oh. Right. There's a bench over there. I need to sit down. Uh, I think that took me less time to get back than I actually took to get there. And that's including coming up the hill. Oh, man. Oh, that's such a relief. Oh, I would have just been... <laughs> Try not to fall over as I put my bag down. Oh, man. Surely there must have been people walking by here. Oh. So yeah, either people have walked by here and not seen it, or perhaps if anybody has and they've seen it, they've thought, well, it looks like it doesn't been here long because it, it's not rained, it's dry. Uh, doesn't look like he's been out here in the weather at all. They perhaps left it for oh, somebody will realise and come back. Uh, if they did, thank you for leaving it alone. Otherwise, I could have been oh, on a merry little dance trying to find that. Ah. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, I think uh, that's kind of a bit dampener on the day, although I feel a lot better now. I really don't think I'd be bothered to walk all the way back around to waterfalls two and three and start all that over again. So I think I'm going to head back to the car, after I've cooled down that is. Uh, let's have a drink, something to eat. and. Uh, there are a couple of other waterfalls I could go to that won't take so much time to get to. There's another one probably a couple of miles away. Um, down in the nearest village to here, um, you park just on, on the roadside or near a pub and walk down the river. It's probably about half a mile or so. That's not too bad. It's all flat. Um, or I did see on uh, 
Google Maps when I was just checking out how my route here yesterday. Um, just a little bit further down the main road, there's um, another waterfall. Actually, never remember the name of this one. I think it's called Melling Court. You park just off the main road, and then it's a, a five, ten minute walk. Um, not one I've been to before, so I could perhaps go and visit that one. Uh, but I have to say that uh, if I don't, I'll see you next time. Um, if I do, I'll see you at one of the other locations. All right, bye for now.